Bass Boys here. Today we're going to be doing some December crappie fishing. I'm just going to pull out of my house right now. Going to get a uh, Ryan. I'll see you guys when we get there. sucks about fishing in the winter is uh, it gets dark out super early so we're out here or I'm going to get them now and it's it's like one o'clock and it's gonna be dark by 4 30 or even earlier so it gets colder so you're kind of forced to quit but it's better than sitting on the couch doing nothing so hopefully we get some today and I'll turn the camera back on when I get Ryan so here we go guys we got Ryan here going to Bass Lake today Wait, we're going to we're not going to get the location but we don't mind giving you the name just in case someone's watching from here mm -hmm. well, guys so we arrived now we gotta walk a big journey yeah. It's gonna take about. To the spot we go to. Yeah, we go to the secret spot. Oh, you're gonna take 15 minutes. Yeah, or longer. Yeah. Might take us 10 minutes just to get to the path. <laughs> Walking on the street. Jeez. So, finally got to the trail here. Got to walk in the street for about, oh, maybe a thousand feet or something. Now we're on the trail to the spot. This might be one of the only days we've been here where it isn't windy. Yeah. Every time we come to this place, it's windy. Let's see if anybody's in our spot. Yeah, here's the uh, lake or pond or whatever you want to call it. It's fairly big. I mean, it's not that big. I think it's 20 something acres. But yeah, we got to go all the way down there to that island there. Some weird bird making some weird sounds. Well, so I'll take you through the trail journey to the spot, this little thin trail here. Got the grounds like mush. God damn it. We fished in our last video. Same river. But over here it's kind of hard to fish in it. And it's really shallow over here. Jesus. Keep getting my brain. See if he's trying to say frick instead of the other word. 
that's the hard part when you're filling. Trying not to cuss too often. Line getting tame on these trees. Man, it's getting hot now. I'm actually sweating a little. But we're almost there. Alright, so here it is. Figures are spot in this corner here. You guys can see there's a big turd on the ground right there. I don't know from what. Probably a raccoon or something. That Ryan's got a tie on a different uh, jig. I'll just quickly go over her gear. What I'm using. You never know. New people might be watching. So I'm using the St. Croix Panfish series six foot ultralight. Some of the ratings two to six pound line, 132 to 316 ounce. Great rod, recommend for anybody who wants to go after panfish, bluegills, anything like that. I got a four pound line, and I'm using the Shimano Sedona 1000. And our setup today, with, uh, our rig today is a bobber with a uh, 164 ounce jig head and no split shot. You just put the bobber and then tie on the jig, keeps it down as I'm trying to sit here and untangle this mess that I've made already. You don't have any 164 jigs, do you? No. All right, so I'll have to give you mine. It's Ryan's uh, sniffing starting again, if you yeah. seen our last video. The sniffing has begun. I don't know what the hell happened here. Why is there always gotta be something that happens? God. So here's uh, jigs that I use right here. The uh, 164 ounce. Jig heads, trout magnets. If I can actually pick one up here. All right, I think it's a size eight hook or something. And somehow we had that happen where the hook goes through a hole of another jig. There we go. Here. There's a close up what it looks like. The longer hook. I have shorter ones in here. They're shorter than the hook. But I think these long hooks will work better for what we're after today. And these are just uh, other crappy magnet tubes. Not tubes, like little rubber inner things. But I'm not going to be using those today. Today, I'm going to be using classic gold minnow. It comes in a little jar. right here you've probably seen it before pretty popular one inch so I think I really hate about these a lot of people do which they leak all the time and then the whole can becomes sticky some people put them in uh, the one person I watch he puts them in a pee cup so they don't leak the peacock ain't supposed to leak. Is it supposed to leak? What? The peacock. Oh, no. I think they make that to where it doesn't leak. <laughs> oh, I can't use the peacock. <laughs> Ryan's never used a peacock. Me neither. I don't think I've ever used one either. I don't know why I got this jig out. I don't even need it. You got your own dulps, right? You said. Yeah. Alright, so how I put the gulp in a one. Put it like this. My finger. 
and then put it right through the top and then go a little bit in and poke it out try to get it in the middle you can see I failed again Jig's kind of bent looking but this should be tied my daughter a little bit deeper probably only about a foot and a half down a little bit more all right so this is a spot that's been pretty good for the crappies lately yeah i'm getting it's pretty warm out here now and i can honestly sweat and what I have on. It's really quiet out here. Super quiet. sit and twitching it every now and then usually that'll get them if one's messing with it that'll get them to take it It's always falling off my head. I can see it's starting to fall off here too. <laughs> That's one problem with these hats. They always slide up. Head's too big or something. You stepped in it. Are you kidding me? Yeah. So smushed. Fuck. Oh, I stepped in the turd. That's just great. Oh, let's go in the water here. What's your setup here? What are you using? Uh, Fenwick HMG. I think it's a seven foot um, moderate action. Yeah, it's ultralight. Ultralight. I'm just using some crappy Abu Garcia reel that yeah. I got in a box somewhere. One of those plastic boxes. And we're both using four pound test P line. We could go to two pound by be a little bit cast a little bit farther, but four pounds maybe a little bit more safe to go with i mean two pounds you can catch any size fish you just gotta have everything set right and you can reel it in but we just go four pound well the first couple minutes no hits yet This has been a pretty good spot for uh, for us this year. I haven't really been here that much, but I've caught some good sized crappies probably in like the nine to 12 inch range here. That was in uh, August though, I think, or in July and yeah, July and August I think that was I was catching them but then uh, I think it's September too and I, we came here in October and uh, I don't think we caught anything I think we caught like a couple bluegills or something maybe I think we did catch a crappie one it was like some small one
Here we go. We got Ryan here. He came prepared today. He so brought my tissues. He brought his tissues with, so when he starts sniffing, he doesn't have to use his hands. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I didn't realize it actually. <laughs> Bring that. Might as well just bring a whole roll of toilet paper. I think that's what he needed last time. Oh yeah, I don't know, at that uh the bridge. Last time we caught the the one fish we caught in the bridge last week. Yeah. That was uh that was uh crazy. Yeah, a lot of these places we fish at, they uh, have a lot of fishing pressure on these little small ponds like this. A lot of people fishing. I mean, there's nobody here now, but over the years, it seems like it's gotten worse and worse everywhere you go. Anywhere you go around here. And we're from Illinois. These are just man-made places. Stock fish, supposedly, every year. Don't know if we believe it. But, and also, it's winter, so... Let's see why the bite would be... more dead. I'm going to try to my bobber a little bit deeper. I've been here for about 15 minutes. We yeah, haven't had squat. It's deader than dead out here right now. It seems dead. It's one thing when you're crappie fishing. You want to try to change your bobber depths. You're not getting the hits in one depth. And keep sliding your bobber up and down. And maybe you'll find a fish. Or find a school of something different depth than you're fishing. You could sit there and fish a couple feet down and not get anything. And then go down a little bit deeper and all of a sudden start catching fish. Or you could be in the... There's like an area that there will be, and if you're not casting in that area, you ain't gonna get them. Sometimes it's really small. Might have to go to an old bobber and just cast it and dig it. We ain't catching nothing. I'll tell you one thing. Like I said in my other GoPro 11 video on this battery, man. I'm at 29%. I started at about it's like 80% today. Battery's draining quick, so if you plan on getting one of these cameras, it's a great camera, great quality. Picture looks good. I definitely plan on buying batteries. I got some in my pocket here. I got three spare batteries. Charged them all up the day before. But one problem I have is taking the side cover off this thing. Kind of hard. 
Especially if you got no nails. <laughs> Try and take that thing off. I think it's supposed to be a lot easier than I'm making it, but I don't know. I just can't get it off. The side off that easy. I have it in the medium mod case. So I gotta take the thing out and then put the battery in. Try a new spot here. Try going over here. Try and change spots. Water's down. Down quite a bit. Too much action. I'm gonna take my bobber off. Just try casting this thing. No bobber. Try that. See if we can get anything. One eight. This is when light line comes in handy here. It's when you're using something really small. You'll be able to cast a lot further. This is one two pound would probably be better. It's kind of do different trees here, do like the twitching and reeling at the same time. Sometimes just let it sink a little bit. But most of the time I'm twitching it. Or you could just let it sink, cast it. Just let it drop and maybe raise it. Most of my bites they'll come on this retrieve here. It's pretty dead right now. Huh? Try over here again. You may have to move spots completely. And go somewhere else in a different area. mush pile here. Try over here. Close to this tree. Yeah, I ain't going nowhere. I'd be able to get something though. There's gonna be something out here we'll to eat. Bluegill or something. Can't even get a blue guy out here right now. One thing about these gulp minnows makes you check them every now and then. They tend to slide off. But usually if you don't catch fish, it doesn't slide off. So you don't have to check it as much, but make sure to check that because you any little move in the minnow affect the way it looks, it falls in the water and fish might not want to touch it then.
All right, guys, we're gonna do a change of baits here. Adult Minnow hasn't produced. I'm gonna put one of these on. Bobby Garland, two inch. No, not these, it's the wrong bag. It's a different type. These ones here. These ones are good. Look kind of like that gulp. It's pretty similar, but it's a little bit heavier. Maybe help me get a little bit longer cast. Hook in the same way as you would the gulps. Take this little piece of line off. Take them like that. You can really hook them anyway. Just go like this. Look at the nose. Stick them up. Hook to the middle. Kind of want to hook it pretty quickly. Go through with these. It's bigger if you're using this kind of jig. Try these out. Guys, well, we're gonna get moving. After I just had a cheap battery in the camera, it was a hassle. Now we're gonna go try a different spot here. Ain't looking too good over here. What do you think, Ryan? You think it's good? This is a good no. spot right now? No. All right, well, we're gonna get moving. Got a little bit of walking to do again. I gotta zip this stuff up. Looper reel right here. Here you go, people. This is what we deal with. <laughs> Got to keep the camera on. I'm always, I'm always having it off when we get some bloopers. I'm gonna have to film until we get there, in case anything else happens. Because it might be the only entertaining thing today. Already starting to get dark out. Definitely tell it's cooler out. But we're gonna keep walking straight here. Let's go to one of our other spots. thing plan on changing your battery and your GoPro I wouldn't plan on having the medium mod on there especially when you're wearing all this winter gear I'm unscrewing a little thing on the bottom for the chest mount I'm using the same same top chest mount I'm trying to screw that little 
screw in the bow with a medium hot on is it won't come out. Or maybe I've, actually, you know what? I think it's stupid. I think I forgot to put the little attachments in the bottom of the camera down, and that's why I wasn't able to slide it out. Well, maybe that was the issue. But got a lot of batteries in my pocket, so we'll be good. I think this is a spot here. Yeah. It's that area over there. I don't remember that being there. Yeah, it wasn't here. No way. Be water over here. Be a good spot here. Ugh. Here comes my freaking hat. Going up my head again. Nice cast. Yeah. I mean, just did about a 10 foot cast there. He really likes that reel on that rod, that Evo Garcia. Has it been making that grinding noise or not really? Yeah. Uh oh, got another blooper here. Still making that grindy sound. I think I might have actually just had some people. Really? Yeah. It slid my minnow down. I just felt a little bit of weight on there. I don't care at this point. If you can catch bluegill, I'd be happy. Really? Yeah. Big bluegill, especially. Get that to happen again. Of ice over there. Really? Yeah. Where? Oh, to the left. Yeah, getting to that time where the edges are freezing. That a couple beavers over there. Ryan just spotted. I believe they're beavers. Yeah. Maybe I'll be able to zoom it in. Right yeah. Yeah. I mean, muskrats too. You see a lot of those around here. There's even a pond by us called Muskrat Pond. Funny thing is, is. I don't, think just that. I don't think I've seen very many muskrats there. No. <laughs> I think I've seen more muskrats at construction zone. Oh, yeah. That's like loaded with them. Yeah. It's definitely a place we'll be going to in the spring, in the future. We call it construction zone. It doesn't have a name. It's just what we call it because it was under construction. And it's like a bunch of ponds loaded with big bass and lots of bass. Hopefully we get to catch some of those this spring.
move again. The spot didn't produce. Way in this corner. Wait, Ryan here. Are you kidding me? Ryan's having a blooper fest over there right now. <laughs> oh my god. Now he's got the line wrapped around the pole. go again oh my god that's not good <laughs> probably should go the other way that's why that's gonna happen then something bad's gonna happen yeah, this is uh i think we're good, good. Oh, i might get no, i might start all right so far today, it's been nothing but bloopers. We may actually have to try this creek down here. Yeah, I guess we can give this a try. If we don't slide down the hill. same river we fished in on our previous fishing video. Let's see if there's anything here. Be nice to catch something here. Catch something at all. Still got the uh, garland made on. I think it was by the quarry though. It's actually right across from us. There's another lake. That's not that's, that's this little pond there. Lake's on the other side of it. There was another spot we fished in over here, like over there somewhere. camera how do we start it but nothing's happened now nothing good still fishing in this little creek river spot over here
Jesus. Stuck on that now. Good old line twisting around the pole. She just just had a hit. I keep seeing like swirls in the water over here. Let me get hit it and then drop it. So I'm just imagining it. Found some fishing lure down here. Looks like a spoon. Found a spoon over here. I got a fishing spoon. Fire tiger. Right there. I don't know how I can get it. Always gotta get free stuff you find. Get the hook. God damn it. It's gonna be tough. You get walk down there and see what it is. Don't let the trick I'm stepping on now. Don't need to fall in the water now. For sure. Looks like it's actually a Stand right here. Mm, it's mushy. Play that. Oh shit! Oh, something moved here. Really? I don't know what. <laughs> I was worried that there was gonna be some animal over here. It's no way that was a frog. The heck could that have been? Got it. It's a little fire tiger spoon. <laughs> Daredevil. Maybe I'll keep it. Maybe I won't. I guess I'll keep it. We got the school scissors here. Oh yeah. Work better than those wrap was. Oh yeah.
free spoon. I'll take it, I guess. Producing anything. Figure out what we're gonna do here. There's a trail over there to walk around, but it could be a disaster over there walking through that in Blooper City, or we could go back. So, what will we do? Let Ryan make the choice here. What do you think? Look confused. I don't know, it's like 3, we have like... 3 o'clock, really? Yeah, it's 3.07, we have like yeah. an hour. I say we go right then. Yeah. Then we get to fish those other spots. I think it's dark like before 15 or something. Yeah. It's dark before 15, what Ryan said. And that's what sucks about fishing in the winter. Plus it just gets really cold out and gets darker. There's no way you want to get up earlier in the morning and fish. Usually in the winter, in the early morning, isn't really a time you want to be fishing anyway. But we're short on time. This place, I don't know. I don't know when they wrote clothes, but. It doesn't matter if we're not having a great day, so might as well try uh, spots that we've caught fish at. So we'll go back over there and try another spot. All right, back to our other spot. We've done pretty well in. Had to walk a little pretty far. Not really making that noise. We caught bass in this spot. Yeah. Caught bass kind of everywhere. Still using the Bobby Garland. Ryan still using the Galt Minnow. One inch Galt Minnow. I'm using the two inch Garland. Fishing slow. Nothing's happening. Definitely got a colder out.
But if you're still watching this boy's video, and you're a warrior, because not much is going on. Not much is happening. This spot was a bust right here. You got to say about it. Yeah. Any, anything to add? No. We're not done yet, but it's definitely feeling like we're getting towards the end. No spots today are active. For crappies, I'm all for anything. <laughs> but, oh, oh my gosh turds in the ground there. They didn't step on it. I'm gonna try like a couple more spots. Whatever light we got left is probably like 3.30. I don't know what time it is. It's gonna be something like that though. Yeah. We'll walk to it. Shouldn't take too long it too. There we go, we got Blooper City here. I just got my pulse. Oh god! <laughs> What do you do? I caught that too. <laughs> you hit in the eye. I think echoed that whole forest. Person probably walking by. I probably heard that. Trying to bird I can around. You pick it up? No, I'm just trying to get over there. It's like a perfectly good egg. I think there would be an egg here. It literally looks like an egg that you get out of like a grocery store. Yeah. I thought I felt something moving in it. Really? Yeah, I feel it. Put it down. Vibrating. I don't see if I feel it again. I'm gonna die here. Too cold. Bird pie, whatever. <laughs> no, it's just it's too cold. Fucking bird should be here. It's one random egg in December. It's kind of strange. Oh, this is our last shot. Makes no sense to keep walking around if we haven't got anything anywhere. people so we had a terrible day today we didn't catch anything I don't know if we got a nibble or a bite 
Did you get any bites, Ryan? No, I got nothing. You got nothing. Not even a nibble. So, uh... I can get something to eat. A good Taco Bell. Ryan doesn't like Taco Bell. No. He's not a fan. But I'll probably go get some Taco Bell now. But, uh... like the video if you liked it uh, subscribe thanks for watching we'll see you guys next time